Hi everyone, it is Tammy and it is Wednesday, hump day already. And I am on my way home from work. Actually, I'm not going home, I'm going to go to the Y and work out, which still sounds so strange, but it makes me happy. And yeah, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna stop at the grocery and um, pick up just a couple of things for dinner because I have some ground turkey that I need to use. So I'm going to make turkey burgers and I need some, goodness, this road. I need to make, or I need to pick up some buns for the guys. I won't use any buns and some French fries for the guys, which again, I won't eat any of those. And I'm gonna try my new air fryer. So I need um, tomato and lettuce and I have some mushrooms so I'm gonna saute the mushrooms and make those all yummy yummy for me uh, I'm probably the only one that will eat the mushrooms but then the turkey burgers I'll just make for everybody and yeah so that's kind of cool I don't think I'm gonna do a recipe because it's not really a recipe if I do do one it will just be to show the air fryer so we'll see we will see But I am excited to try it. And I also think I'm going to pick up some green peppers so that I can make stuffed peppers later in the week because I have menu planned, but for some reason I have more turkey, like ground turkey, than I expected to still have left. So I need to cook it before it goes bad. So that might be a recipe. <laughs> I have really done some recipes recently and um, you know it's, it's easy when you're cooking a lot and I've been cooking almost every day I think there's one day a week that we're going out um, oh I think my son is at the doctor I meant to say hi no hi baby boy uh, so yeah that's kind of cool and I have recipes already logged and ready to go in queue through the end of April right now. So <laughs> I'm set as far as Foodie Fridays go for a little minute, but I'm just gonna keep on doing it and keep on getting videos together because I know that there will be a time when there's a lull in them. You know, cause when I'm doing recipes for a second time or whatever, I, I'm not gonna video it twice for you. And I'm telling you that those Mississippi Oh, and I haven't done the recipe for that. You guys haven't seen it yet. You'll see it next month, I think. The Mississippi chicken thighs. Oh, my word. Those are going on the rotation for sure. Not that I really have a rotation, but I already wrote it down in my book for April just to remember to have them again because they were so good. And I know that this last time I left them in the crock pot all day long and they didn't really need that long so they kind of got a little brown on the top which was fine it didn't hurt anything and it didn't taste bad it wasn't burnt at all because it's a crock pot recipe um and real quick just so you guys know it's just chicken thighs in the crock pot with a package of let me i don't want to get it wrong a package of au jus and a package of ranch and six pepperoncinis. I think that's all, but I don't, don't quote me on that. Don't even try it with that recipe. I'm sorry. I was thinking, oh, well, I can tell it to you real quick, but I can't. Oh, yes. Okay. So I was missing something. Also a half a stick of butter. Um, just kind of cut that up a little bit and put it over the chicken and then put well, put your chicken down and then put the au jus and the ranch and then the butter and um, let it cook for about six hours on low and that's probably all it needs and I had it in there for like 10 because I was gone and my crock pot goes to warm after the time has gone so I mean it was fine it was just and it was not like uh, dry or anything even with that long but I think that's the chicken thigh secret so yeah it was really really good oh and after the butter you put the pepperoncinis now we didn't eat the pepperoncinis but I've heard people say that they do and they're good I've had the same kind of a recipe with roast 
and I tried the pepperoncini and it was not good. But with roast, it's really good too. Um, but I had, this was the first time I tried it with chicken thighs and oh my word, we were all going nuts. Dennis, Alex, Maine, we all loved it. So, highly recommend that one. to do a what's in my freezer uh, like menu plan because I don't even know what's in there anymore. I used to keep an inventory. Some things are just so hard when you're married to somebody who is not I mean he is, he's just not a planner and not a I don't even know what the words are. I can't like he will if he goes to the store or even if I go to the store and buy stuff, if he wants something that I bought, like let's say, I'm being silly, but let's say I bought corned beef because he loves corned beef. So let's say I bought corned beef and um, he'd be like, oh. so he'd say, hey Tammy, can you get corned beef again next week? And I'm thinking, okay, he must have eaten it, like, corn, like deli corned beef. Oh no, he won't have eaten it. He would have put it in the freezer sometimes because he likes it and he doesn't want to run out. It's crazy to me. I'm like, you are crazy. I know what, I, I get that though, I do. But at the same time, I'm like, and the, the bad thing is, is that he doesn't always like put it away as well as you probably should for the freezer. So then when I go to the freezer, it's like all freezer, frozer, freezer burnt and yuck and have to throw that away. So it's just kind of things like that. And then, you know, I have freezer meals that I've made and I don't even know if we ate them all and the freezer is just too packed right now. I need to clean it out desperately and the side-by-side -side freezer. I need to clean that out too. I really would like to get a new refrigerator. The one that I have is from 2009 so it's really not that old. Um, I guess it's going on nine years um, but it's it still works well and I remember when I bought it they asked me if I wanted to have one of the freezers that had the you know fridge doors and then the freezer underneath and I was like no I don't want that because I didn't realize how that worked because I remember as a kid having a fridge and a freezer and actually we still have one of those in the garage and it was awful because you know you got food all over the place in there and it was just hard and I wanted the side-by-side -side. we had a side-by-side -side and I was replacing my side-by-side -side. but um, now that I've lived a little longer and I understand how nice that would be um, and they have this one that I saw and I shouldn't have even looked at them I don't even know why I did but we were at Home Depot and I was looking around and they had this uh, perfect fridge for us that had the you know the fr the doors for their fridge and then the freezer opened up and it had another little opener that held frozen pizzas which are great because those always get you know tossed around and there's nowhere to put them and all of that so I don't know and honestly it's just going to be me and Dennis so I don't even know why I'm worrying about it I need to get out all the food that we have clean it up figure out what meals I want to make, throw away what we don't need or won't eat, and just start from scratch and do my menu shopping and do all that. So I have talked now for nine minutes about food and I'm almost at the Y and I can't even hardly eat anything, which is fine, but it's funny because I'm still a foodie, which is good. I'm glad of that. I wanted to still be. Um, I just need to eat high quality food to make sure I get my protein in and I just need a little bit. I don't need a lot. So I'm going to let you guys go because I saw that my son texted me and he is, like I said, at the doctor. So I don't know what he needed, but I am going to let you guys go and I will check it out. So talk to you soon. Bye bye. Well, here is the coffee bar that I've been talking about. I need to put a little sign here that says Tammy's Coffee Bar or something. I can work on that. I don't think about it until I see it and then I forget when I go in the craft room. But I have white chocolate, all of this is sugar free, white chocolate, black cherry, salted caramel, uh, brown sugar cinnamon, chocolate chip cookie dough, vanilla bean, English toffee, 
almond roca, peppermint, coconut, and pumpkin pie. And then I also have the three sugar-free syrups that they offer, which are sauces. This one is uh, a white chocolate. I'm like, what in the world? I just saw chocolate. White chocolate, caramel, and back there is the dark chocolate. And then I got these cabinets not together, but I wanted to have something that looked nice together. And I think those look all right. Um, the top one was about $78 on Overstock. And the bottom one was about 100 I think. And I just have my easy access stuff in here. So I have my tea. This is um, all the like single and loose teas that I have. And then this is my tea brewer that I love. And then I have like my Tivana teas back there. This is just some extra coffee. I have, um, my husband likes Earl Grey tea and we both use Splenda when, or Stevia when we need it. So that's in here, easy access for him and me. Um, and then those are different teas that I've gotten and enjoy. And I just have those all there. I have a cappuccino that I got at the Dollar Tree actually. And this is uh, a K-cup that you can fill with your own coffee. And then this is a little thing that I got on Amazon to fill it. It's a scoop. You scoop up your coffee in here, put the lid on, and then it fits into there very nicely. So that's what that is. I just have that right there. And then I have some of my favorite tea right here. And I have my Green Mountain coffee. This is a 48 cup. I have Dennis's just regular coffee in here only because the 48 cup was almost empty so I put it in something so that it could be easily gotten. I have my um, protein fiber or protein creamer here. I'm not real crazy about it. It's okay but it's not the best. And then here I have all of my water mix-ins. Not all of them but the ones that I have readily available and then I just keep extra boxes of them in another storage and then I'll just fill this up when I'm ready. And then there is some Tetley tea right there, which is very good. Um, oh, and this also has my scoop in it for the perfect amount of tea. And this is some cute birthday cake flavored tea. I haven't tried it yet. So then these are just closed with magnets. Same with down here. So down here I have just some spare stuff. These are like um, little, those are spare K-cup things. This is for a big carafe. This is a tea strainer. This is for a big carafe of coffee. This is my frother, which um, works well with creamer. There are some cleaners over there. I just have some loose hot chocolate right there because it didn't fit up there. It, but this is all hot chocolate and K-cup teas. These are all K-cups. And then I just have some extra syrups down there a regular caramel um, Toriani, and then that is some to-go cups, and then there's just an extra Earl Grey. So that is my coffee bar, and I was just about to fix myself a cup of coffee. So I have this that I try to keep full. I have a lot of my husband's up here because I don't really want him digging around, so I want those to be easily accessible for him, and then I just try to fill it. And then I just put some flavored ones on the bottom, which is what I mostly like, but I like the regular bl breakfast blend too, but this is his favorite. So I try to make it easy on him. This is another one that he can have. It's, um, or he can have any of them, but he likes. This is um, just from a sample pack, and it is just a regular coffee. So he likes just regular coffee. He doesn't like any foo-foo-y stuff. And back here is just Folgers, that if we wanted to use one of those K-cup things, we could. And here is our new Keurig, which is very nice. And here is my cup of coffee, and I'm going to add some syrup to it, and a little bit of creamer, and a little bit of my Ready Whip. So that is that. That is my coffee bar. <sighs> Long awaited but extremely excited about. I hope that you guys like it, and I'd love for you to come over and have a cup of coffee. Bye-bye. <laughs>